Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the grid and welcome back. I'm out ice fishing and I wanted to share a couple of DIY projects that I built that have made my ice fishing adventure a little more enjoyable and brought me good luck. Let's have a look. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the grid and One of the first pieces I, uh, of my kit for uh, uh, kind of exploring ice fishing and uh, out of the pack was a little holder that I built for my ice fishing rod. I'm just going to set my rod down for a second. This is built, I wanted something collapsible that would be, uh, that would fit in a pack and collapse down to almost nothing, throw it in the back pocket. Here it is here, it collapses down to uh, fit in a pocket, it has two aluminum uh, pieces of uh, pipe, you can use any pipe you want, held together with a uh, key ring and a piece of paracord tying to them together at uh, approximately 8 inches. Now with the ABS pipe I drilled a hole and attached it with a zip tie and what happens is that notch is able to flip over, rest down on those two pieces of pipe and flare them out at that width of 8 inches. Now the uh, ABS pipe has a little notch which uh, uh, holds the, uh, the fishing reel. So if we set this down and take a rod and drop it right down in this notch, just like so, the weight of the rod spans this, uh, uh, this holder out and then I just line my line over the hole and I can walk away from that rod knowing that it's safe and secure and uh, it does not flex down in very, uh, very secure way to hold my uh, rod. And uh, there's our uh, recent good luck and uh, that's, that works well. Let's have a look at another rod holder. Now some of you are going to laugh but uh, I've got fish on the ice says this, is, uh, this works really well. This originally is a wine bottle holder. The end of the bottle sits in the larger loop, comes up through and through the top. And it sits on the counter displayed. Now, this large loop across the bottom is normally together. So this profile used to come out and form a ring. I cut the, the middle section of these two uh, kind of legs and inserted a piece of pipe. You can put a piece of doweling in there. It just gives it that triangular shape to hold uh, and spread and hold the weight. With the rod in place in this holder, you can see it aligned to the center of the hole. Now I've just got the lure suspended, uh, the little jig suspended under the water. So I wanted to show you what happens. With a little flick, now you can just touch the rod like this. It puts the your lure in motion and it just sits there and bobs itself away hands free gives that lure a little more action alternatively we can uh, the little ring that the uh, the bottle would normally sit in I could just put the toe of my boot on there and almost without even feeling it though just the the littlest flick of my flex of my toes and my boot allows that jig non-stop action and certainly when it's down deep underwater at the depth I need it to be it's hands free I'm videotaping with one hand my other hands hands free and it provides lots of movement of that lure and again fish on the ice says it's uh, it's been pretty effective here today
and with a little bit of that jigging action you just lift it off and <laughs> there you go small one but again it was hands free all I had to do bit pick up the rod and set the hook let's get it back in the wall so I thought I wanted to share that with you the other piece is really nice is uh, <laughs> believe it or not is an ironing board this is an apartment size kind of countertop ironing board but what I really like about this it gives us a very light platform we can put our lunch on there we can put our stove uh, our mitts uh, perhaps you have a little package of lures or whatever you want up off the ice and uh, out of the way I also have my uh, buddy heater I can put on there and one of the best things we like is putting this between the holes and I don't have it with me today but normally we have a uh, fisheye camera and we can sit it on here and drop on down in either hole and have a look on what's down down below pretty useful folds down flat weighs nothing but it's a good way to uh, store things keep your coffee ready cook on it's a nice preparatory surface off the ice here's another neat trick and uh, here's my buddy heater and I have a stand large enough to uh, just clear the top of the stand but you can see the heat coming off there and I thought what a great idea great way to cook my lunch at the same time so there's uh, I have a tin plate on the top and a little bit of oil and seasoning and we're having a fish fry right from our nice hut can't get much fresher than that thanks for joining me today the uh, folding fishing rod holder as well as this this larger automatic jigger has uh, proven to be effective uh, fish on the ice are, are a testament of that the uh, folding uh, ironing board is also uh, not needed but it's proven to be uh, uh, a functional piece of gear that I it weighs nothing and I can throw it in the sled so don't forget to click like subscribe and share thanks for watching enjoy your outdoors bye for now